I like to watch the cruise ships on the Columbia River in southeastern Washington. And on this day, there was not just one, but two docked only about a mile from my house. On the left, that's American Harmony, and on the right, American Song from American Cruise Lines. I had my drone in the air when they were ready to leave after spending the day in Richland. It was a typical hot summer day, about 95 degrees at 6 p.m. as American Harmony got in position to head downriver. I got in my car and drove ahead a few miles so that I'd be in position to capture the view when they reached the Tri-Cities' most iconic landmark, the Cable Bridge. Way ahead of its time, the Cable Bridge was built back in 1978, the first major cable-stayed bridge to be built in the United States. Since then, the Cable Bridge has become the unofficial symbol of the Tri-Cities of Richland, Kennewick, and Pasco. American Harmony was the first of the two ships to reach the bridge, and it was quite a sight. And if you're watching on a big enough screen, you'll even see the moon in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. A beautiful view of a beautiful river ship. And it's quite modern, too. It was just built in 2019. As we watch the American Harmony head under the cable bridge, I just want to suggest that if you're enjoying the video, please hit the thumbs up button. That signals to YouTube that this is a good video that they should recommend to other people. YouTube is automated. It doesn't know a good video from a bad video. They rely on you to use the thumbs up button to tell them which videos you think deserve a wider audience. Now here's the second ship, American Song. And as you look at this video, a little closer shot than I did of the previous ship, I just want to explain that the reason you don't see any passengers out on their balconies or up on the top deck or basically anywhere doesn't mean that there wasn't anyone on board. It was actually quite full of passengers. But this was at about 6.30 in the evening, and all the passengers were enjoying a nice dinner at this point. It was really hot outside, so the most comfortable place to be was definitely inside with air conditioning and enjoying the views of the ship going under this iconic Tri-Cities landmark, the Cable Bridge. In the distance there, you can see there's another bridge just a little further down the river. It's a fairly low bridge, and a section of it has been raised up enough to let these two ships pass underneath. And that's a railroad bridge owned by BNSF. You can see that the first ship, American Harmony, has already made it under the railroad bridge, as the second ship, American Song, is heading under the cable bridge. If you're interested in booking a river cruise, an ocean cruise, or just about any kind of vacation, feel free to use the services of my travel agent, Caitlin Gallagher. She's one of the good ones. I book all my cruises with Caitlin. You should do the same.